If you like what you see, why don't you think about subscribing? And make sure to check out my channel for videos just like this. What is going on, people? It's your boy, Mr. Bucklist here. Like usual, I want to give you all a breakdown of how the video is going to flow. Uh, once again, this is one of my Everything On Location series. So what that basically means is I show everything. So if you feel like a part is lingering on too long, or if you want to get to a certain point, just open up the description and there are going to be timestamps in there for each and every area. Um, now, secondly, I just want to say thank you. There were a couple of people that reached out to me and decided to go ahead and donate to the, to the channel after I made a little post on my last video. It means the world to me. Like it's not even about the money, it's more about the messages that you all left. You all left some really good messages with those donations. And I just wanted to say thank you. I wish I could have replied to them, but the, the apps and the sites that we're using, you can't reply back to those type of things. So I just wanna give you all a genuine thank you. Thank you so much. It just really means a lot and it really encouraged me to do more and more videos. That's why I've been pumping them out like crazy this past week. Um, so again, thank you for everything you all have done. I love both my new subscribers, all subscribers, people stopping by. Just thank you for being here. I'll see you soon. Peace out. Okay. So down here we have the Crown and Anchor Society stuff. And we have this conference center. So it's all dark, so I really can't go in, but it's actually a really good size. This is the Royal Theater. There's a couple of stories. It's really, really nice, y'all. All right, so I just want to give a heads up. In this video, there are certain points where there's copyrighted music playing, so I had to edit it out and just add in some little cheap music like this. Um, but this is one of the main floors. Um, this is the, where the casino's at, and then also just like some different bars. It's a really nice and chill area. As you all can see, like usual, it's not busy at all. Nice and just relaxing. And then around this area right here, they actually have like a Latin um, Latin club where they just kind of play Latin music 24-7. Um, even when no one's there, they're still playing and that's why I had to kind of go ahead and mute the music in the background. Um, but it's actually really cool. It's like a little mini dance club, bar, um, just a really good time to be at. dining room this is just it's amazing it's really really nice really cool and empty
Alright, and then right here we have the Royal Promenade area. Um, now, even though this video was recorded early in the morning, um, as you all can see, it just it never was busy. Um, even like during the peak times of people going to dinner and stuff like that, there wasn't one single time I walked through here and this area was busy. And ironically, this is the part where they usually have like the huge parties where it just it was packed. But because of COVID, and of course, the ship was wasn't at full capacity. It looked like this 24/7. It was kind of mind-boggling, but at the same time, it was pretty cool. And then around this area, they also have one of the um, little cafes that you can come to. So if you don't want to get room service and if the main dining room and the buffet is closed, you can come here and get like little pizza and breakfast sandwiches, just pretty much snacks. Um, now, I never actually got food from there, but I did walk through as you all see in this video. Um, but they actually, um, the food actually looked really good and it was like all nice and fresh, so freshly made. So we're on Famous Deck 11. This is where the buffet and the pool, all the good stuff set. All right, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out the solarium. So this is the beautiful Slayerium. So nice. You got loungers and everything. And everything's included. Now the pool is closed right now, but it'll be open once it officially opens. I think at 8 o'clock. Alright, so as we keep chugging along, it is time to head to the main pool deck. Whew, the sun is out there right now. Man. Alright, y'all, so keep in mind it is early in the morning, so not too many people's gonna be out. <laughs> side over here you can actually smoke so this is a smoking area all right so this is the main pool now again everything's closed because it's early in the morning 
I'm pretty sure I got some shots when it was actually open, so if I didn't, I'll come back and do it again. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad work. And there's like some walking club going on upstairs. Okay, and then if we keep on going, so this is a place I'm actually pretty interested about that I haven't been to just yet. It's the dog house. So you come here and you get your um, type of hot dog and I guess a drink or whatever. And I actually had a pretty long line when I was over here earlier. Well, when I looked over here earlier, so apparently it's pretty good. But yep, and this is included as well. All right, and then here we are at the dog house. I'm so excited. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk back around the pool so you all can see the different sides you couldn't see earlier. Um, actually, hold up. Before I do, so they have a self-serve yoga machine. Now, because of COVID, of course, it's not self-serve anymore, but you just walk up here and they get you whatever you want. So, again, this is included. Complimentary. It opens at 11. It's about 7 right now. And then if you want the kiddos to be able to swim in this four foot pool, you got life preservers, so. Yep. And then you got, I'm assuming the Royal Caribbean mascot. I'm not really sure what this is, but it's cool. Okay. And then you actually have so one, two, three, four different whirlpools of different sizes. These are smaller than those over there. And if I'm not mistaken, this is for your kids. I saw nothing but little kids over here. And then I was in the other one. And then you got your pool bar. Just a couple of them. And this is one of them. And then you got these seats right beside the pool bar. It says reserve deck for some special type of guest, but I don't really know what it means. Alright, I apologize for having to cut in, but they had the Friends theme song playing in the background, so I had to cut the music out. But I just wanted you all to hear how many times they said good morning. Um, by the time I walked through the entire buffet, they probably said good morning about, I would say probably about 30 times. It was pretty, pretty cool, pretty funny.
All right, so we're heading to, uh, the, I guess, the last area, at least for me today, um, which is the second floor of the pool deck. Now, another cool thing is these loungers. Now, I don't like how it's away from the pool, but either way, it's still cool. And they're opening up everything, so that's cool. And then this is the solarium. Now, one thing that kind of upset me, so I've had some issues with this cruise, ironically. Um, one thing that upset me one is just the booking. I had a future cruise credit, and they just... When I tried to do it online, it just would not apply. It. And I just, I mean, it asked for the code, I put it in, it recognized it. And then when it was time to pay, it just wouldn't recognize it. And so I had to call Lily four, four times, mind you, to get the issue resolved because I had to call for them to authorize a refund, call to authorize the credit, call to authorize switching this, switching, it just had to authorize all this nonsense. So it was, it was a big mess. But the good thing is they actually upgraded my room. They've been really nice. So this all as well. Hmm. Oh, the lazy just tried to play some golf and now I realize she works here, so I look on a bed. All right, so even this mini golf course is not bad at all. I'm not really sure what these are for, but it's pretty cool. So the sun is now in full effect, so it's nice and getting toasty out here. But either way, being on a cruise is better than being at home, so I'm really enjoying it. Beautiful sight. And then one of the last stops that we actually have is something called the Living Room, Arcade, and Johnny Rockets. Um, so I have not been to this area just yet, besides the um, <clears throat> Florida area. So let's check it out. Look. 
And then of course right here we have the um, arcade. Now this is open 24 hours and they actually apparently have a day or two that they do where they give you free play to kind of play whatever you want. Now, I didn't try it out, but I mean, it actually was a fairly nice sized arcade for this size of ship. So I was really surprised. And then just to follow up about the um, arcade, so there is just other areas back here as well. They're called the Forges Club. Um, so basically it's like a little teen club for like kids, almost like a daycare in a way. It's a place where they go and have fun and, and play games and stuff like that under supervision. So again, a lot of people always get will give me questions about taking kids on the ship, um, especially people that have never been on a cruise. Don't worry about it. There's plenty of places for them to go so you all can still enjoy your quiet time. All right, so Johnny Rockers is currently closed, but it has the same setup like they usually do, so it's really cool. And then I'm not really sure what's over here. Okay, some steps, cool. So we got some steps over here, but again, if you want a quiet area, this ship has so many different quiet areas, and that's what I love, like. All right, so as we keep walking, like I said, down here at the bridge, I can't tell if they have the gates open right now or not. And they also have the gym. Um, so I'll definitely go through there so you all can see the gym, but again, everything's really nice. Oh, cool. The bridge is open. So we got the bridge down here. This is really, really dope. Oh, I didn't put my butt on. But you literally can come down here and look at the bridge. It's so crazy. That is so cool. Oh my God. All right, and then this is going to be one of the last areas on the ship that I'm going to do for this video. This is the area that leads to both the spa and the gym. Now, the spa isn't a thermal suite, so they don't have like the big jacuzzi th in the pools and stuff like that that you've all seen in my other videos. So that's why, ironically, this is the one cruise where I did not buy a spa pass. Um, but either way, like I said, the spa is up there. And then the gym itself, the gym is actually, again, for this size of ship, the gym was huge. And it has a great view, of course. It's right in front of the, um, the bow of the ship, so you can see the nice, just the, the beautiful view that the captain gets to see. Um, so either way, like I said, the gym itself is really nice. Um, the spa, it is what it is, but all together, the ship was just amazing. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you saw, please check out my channel for more videos just like this. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you next time. Peace.